All right, welcome everyone back to my channel and freelancer discovery updates, you know. Um, we are now at the PVE content update. And this one was posted by Titan. Now, I don't know how much and when, when was it? Three hours ago. Yo, that's actually not even that. Literally today, right? So, and we also had some conversation with Titan. You know, he's my boy, dude. We've been <clears throat> in contact for a while, contact for a while. And obviously there has been uh, times where I lost contact with a lot of people from freelancer discovery well that's that's it you know we always get somehow together talk again just like wasser wasser shows up on my stream now and then fucking asshole <laughs> but uh you know okay here we go new encounters that's called art by cowcat fucking nick's popping out um art you know all right so short overview you got bored you want to earn cash by killing npcs but my but missions are boring and too basic for you. You want to fight NPCs that are that aren't dumb? You dumb? Dude, I should have taken a sip of water. Anyway, you don't want to sit in a battle zone and wait for an NPC spawns. You hate trading. You want to fly around, explore, and find yourself in dangerous situations. Expeditions? Right, that's what I want. Well, you're in the right place, my friend. We've solved all these issues and more. There are the there are multiple new types of mission like encounters coming in the new patch. Yo, fucking it, Titan's English has increased too. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys would have known his English before, that was a little rough. <laughs> These encounters are challenging. They require some knowledge and multiple people to clear. Hold up. You want to be a one man army? Don't worry, but we've got you covered. We will have a challenging encounters for solo players too. However, these may not come immediately. Their edition is pending review on the test server okay yo when am i gonna get get uh, access to the sus test server man haste come on bro Vesker, titan guys man, i'm here too i'm still living <laughs> encounters as a trial as a trial we have added these types of brand new encounters magellan location e2 liberty rogues secret bunker location fg2 liberty rogues fortified port a Cortez location, FG67, Liberty Navy Pro Provisional Outpost, Omicron Theta, theta uh, location D7, Corsair Battle Group, Battle Group Rendezvous Point, Corsair Fleet Command Headquarters, Outcast Frontier Stronghold, Outcast Expeditionary Force, Manhattan Atmosphere, location between Back to Space, Landing Site, LPI VIP Convoy. There's also another way to find them in game by using political map select a hostile option on political map and it will show you where the zone is that's actually sick that's actually gr great that they did that so you know where they are okay perfect encounters are found in places people don't generally visit even for extended rp purposes we've got a lot of empty space in discovery so we're trying out adding inter interesting pv stuff to some of these locations to encourage and reward ex exploration please oh god yes 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 <laughs> good i was actually thinking there's so much space there's just so many systems in discovery if they're gonna fill all this with pve content problem solved there you go okay encounter ai Let's talk about new AI freelancer. It is a pretty pretty old game with very limited AI, so I tried my best improving the AI for encounters. These NPCs are much more smarter than what we had before, and each class has its own sort of AI controller. However, their main strength still comes from specialized loadouts. Fighter AI, improved AI meant to dogfight players. Oh god, we're getting we're getting the EMG NPCs back. Yeah, from 4.85 these have the best accuracy npcs can have and force you to pay attention i've also made a new fighter ai which forces you to chase the npcs okay but it's not currently implemented if players express an interest it, yeah i think you should man there should be a difference the, the ai should be a bomber ai it was tricky to make however no matter what i do there's just no way to make them dodge versus player capital ships freelancers ai freelancers ai is not designed to fight players in capital ships as such, Bomber AI just plays a little bit safer than Fighter AI. Okay, that's fine. You know. 
Gumball AI, after I saw how bad the old Gumball AI was, I made them dodge more and actually sit at a certain distance to orbit PCs or NPCs or do hit and runs instead of just ramming the player. Oh, okay. Cruiser Brawler AI. This one fights at closer distances, but they can kite the player if getting chased. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cruiser Artillery AI. Classic Artillery AI sits at a long distance and fires long range weapons at the player. So it's like different type of... Oh, that's actually sick. That's actually sick. <clears throat> so you'll you'll have like AI NPCs staying there and some NPCs kiting, like getting closer to you. So while you're like worrying about the uh, NPCs close to you, there's going to be ones shooting from the distance. That's sick. Um, cruiser standoff AI acts similar to artillery AI, but better at using weapons created for battle cruiser NPCs. Battleship is standard AI. Battleship AI is pretty similar to cruiser artillery. Battleship Brawler AI, close range Battleship AI, counterpart to Cruiser Brawlers, but with some tweaks. Don't forget, they are not flawless, obviously. They can make mistakes or can act weird, so I hope to get reports if they act strange or glitch out so I can do my best to fix them. We also managed to find a way to make NPCs force attack certain ship classes. Currently, we've got two jobs for AI. Anti-capital job and anti-fighter. Anti-capital job forces AI to attack capital ships, cruisers, and gumboats. They do not engage fighters. And until they come within... 1k and freighters within 1.5k. Okay, so <clears throat> they're not changing target when you when the fighter is like approaching them. They're focusing on the other capital ship, but if the fighter is at 1k um, you know uh, range, then they start to. That's actually great. And fighter, that is the values we already had, so this forces AI to engage any ship class. Yeah, okay. Fighters are just engaging anything. Difficulty, NPC loadout, and equipment. To make things easier to understand, I've made difficult di tiers for encounters. Difficulty 1.0. This is your main soloable encounter that can be found anywhere in series. It will have a standard NPC, but there can be stronger ones. These shouldn't be a problem for solo players, but they require you to know what to target first. Difficulty 2. These encounters are only found in places that will make people interact with each other. These are high risk and high reward. NPCs in this encounter are stronger, they're specialized, and they require a robust knowledge base. Difficult two encounters are designed for two or more people. Oh, okay, so pretty much group PvE. I like that. All the new encounters coming with the new patch will be difficulty two. No, wait, all the new encounters coming with the new patch will be difficulty two. Oh, so difficulty one is gonna be a later. They're gonna be, they're gonna add that later. Okay. NPC loadout is the most important thing. You need to know which NPCs are the highest prior priority. They're now more specialized. They're, they're close range damage dealers, artillery defense, high survivability tank ships. NPC equipment has been improved to make them challenging. Don't forget, they can have stronger weapon than player weapons, but they are not super intelligent, so they have a hard time using the equipment intellig intelligently. However, if ignored, then they they become a big issue. Check with NPCs has the most troublesome loadout because taking out important NPCs plays a big role in counters. Check their weapons by checking wireframe turrets. Scanning cargo doesn't reveal most of their weapon. Oh, it's wireframe turrets. That's <laughs> that's either the special thing Freelancer HD did that had like another HUD or you, you had in vanilla, you had a wireframe uh, tab and you could like click on the weapons, what kind of shit they have. Okay. Makes the scanners and like the sub part of the games a little bit more useful because nobody fucking used that other than um, targeting with Nova torpedoes, turrets, specific turrets of uh, capital ships. But other than that, it wasn't really used at all. That makes it a little bit more useful. Oh, that's cool. So, fighter and bomber NPCs get a new type of shield. They have increased resistance against capital weapons, but are weaker against a gunboat and fighter. So they're like trying to enforce that you kill them with small ships. How to beat encounters? This is the part where I'll just say skill issue if you fail to the encounter. Now, I don't like to give spoilers, and I want you to figure out how to beat them and share the info with others. But for now, I'll give a bit of info about one of the encounters found in Magellan. Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh shit, here we go. Quantity 1, Fortified Port, Station. 
Rogue Ford by Port. Two anti capital platforms. One Rogue Fortress Destroyer, Strike Gunship, Rogue Bombers, Rogue Dive Bombers, seven Rogue, rogue Interceptors. Oh shit, dude. Difficult rating two, requires at least two people. Best ship class for comp completion fighter bomber, gun mode, cruiser. I fucking love that, bro. Yo. Okay. The fortified port encounter is probably one of my best and most fun to complete. It is currently inside an asteroid field, so you have to bring a smaller ship to beat. That looks amazing, dude. I really hope that they'll pull through with this. Mechanics. Mechanics is the hardest part to understand. NPC mechanics. Mechanics have been changed to make encounters better. We increased NPC's persist, persist ranges from 2.5k to 4k. This will help us to create larger NPC encounters. But thanks to haste, we also made AI target certain player ship classes. Vanilla Freelancer is not built for capital ships, so NPCs were acting weird. If players f flew capital ships or gumballs, this should no longer be an issue. Thanks to Angor. Encounter spawn mechanics, we decided to put a 30 minute cooldown timer to encounter after encounter is destroyed. Oh, so they're respawn respawning. Oh, that's fucking great. That's actually cool. Respawning encounters, which can kill players with already damaged ships quickly. Of course, encounter timers only work if the player or players are still in the area. Docking and docking, reloading, changing system resets this timer. So this means you can have another encounter without. Oh, and that's. So it would make sense to like replenish and fly back again. Unless you have a large fleet there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah, okay. What makes sense then? Why would you stick around for 30 minutes? I guess if you just go AFK and you don't want it to immediately spawn again. Uh, how does that reset though? I, I guess it detects if a player is nearby. It doesn't matter which player. Uh, not Even if a new player is getting in from, you know, a different player is getting into the zone. As long as a player is around, it's going to have a 30 minute cooldown time. As, as soon as the player leaves the um, zone, I guess, then it resets maybe. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, encounter rewards. Encounter rewards are done via bounty plugin income and military salvage. Okay. Yeah, we, we have seen those. That's actually cool. The bounty plugin is really cool. It's kind of like Eve's uh, bounty thing where you kill NPCs and then you get like a bounty from a uh, corp or like somewhere uh, after like 10 minutes, 5 minutes or something. If everything works as intended, I plan to expand encounters even more. This is where I need your help to make this more exciting. Oh shit, I should type. I want to type in this. Bro, this sounds amazing. This is uh, We'll put more input as soon as I... Time. Finally, some real PvE content. Okay, there you go. Submit reply. <laughs> okay. Core force recruit. What is the, a core force? The core force? What is the Power Rangers? The core force?